So guys, I have four faves, four different faves. And the fave at my right says the right is the way. The fave at my front says the front is the way. The fave at my left says the left is the way. And the fave at my back says the back is the way. And I am at the center, but I am supposed to take just one way. So now, which way am I supposed to pick out of these four? Which of these ways am I supposed to pick? Another example. This face says, choices, putting on choices as a lady is a sin. God does not like it. And the face at my left says, if you like, put on crazy jeans. As long as your heart is clean, you will go to heaven. The face at my front says, as a lady, you should not go to church with your hair uncovered because it is a sin. This other face says, your hair is your covering as a lady, so you can go to church with your hair open. You can pray with your hair open. And I am here. Which one am I supposed to do? Put on trousers or not? Go to church with my hair open or not? I don't know. So now, all these illustrations and more, and more, and more are things I'll be using to explain the topic of today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Ifeolua Oni and I film videos on relationship, faith, my views and lifestyle. That's why you should subscribe. I know it's interesting. I know it caught your heart. So please <laughs> subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you very much for tuning in again. I forgot to say this. If you just subscribe, tell me in the comment section that you just subscribed. That will welcome you very well. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to leave a comment. Yes. So in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the importance of the need for a personal relationship with God. Yes. The importance and the need for a personal relationship with God. We're not teaching in today's video. We're talking. We don't need to teach on this channel. We're just talking. We will take the points that are needed. So please, take points. I know you will. Eh <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. So personally, I feel that a personal relationship, personal, I feel that a personal relationship has always been important as a Christian. I think a personal relationship with God has always been very important. However, nowadays, I feel like it is even more important because of where we are, because of our generation, because of the way things are now. I feel like it's even very important because if you don't have a personal relationship with God, you will be moved left right front back every other day because today someone comes and says this is the right thing tomorrow someone says no that's the wrong thing that is the right thing and you are here which one is the right thing go on say you don't know so but if you have a personal relationship with god and you know god for yourself you would be able to tell that okay this is the right one and this is the wrong and this is the wrong one you'll be able to know that this is how it is. You'll be able to know that, okay, some things are just for some people. Some things are not general. Some things are just for some people. But people have made it look general. Do you get? But if you don't know God for yourself, you will just be moving left, right, front, back, left, center, front, back. Do you understand? So yeah, in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about the importance of um, um, person having a personal relationship with God. But the first thing I want to say is the fact that having a personal relationship with God is not something that will just jump on you. It's not something that you just wake up one day and you find yourself having a personal relationship with God and you find out that you have a deep, you have, a, you have an intimate relationship with God. No, it is something that you will intentionally work at. So guys, it's, it's kind of dull today. Yeah, because of the rain, I don't understand. But I just know I had to feel. But I know you can see me, so let's continue. So it's not something that will just jump on you. It's something that you have to work towards. That you have to wake up every day and say, today I have to work towards having an intimate relationship with God. Today I want my relationship with God to grow deeper. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I think I was once in, I was in part two. I'm not sure. I was in part two one day doing one Bible study. Um, doing one Bible study, and then our assistant Bible study secretary at that point was saying something that, like, the Holy Spirit is someone she gists with on a regular, that anytime she gets gist, it's always the first person she talks to about it, even before she goes to talk to any of her friends. It's always the first person she talks to. And then I'm like, really? 
wow that's nice and i'm someone that when i hear these kind of things i like to try them out so i left bible study that day and i'm like okay from today i'm going to be talking to the holy spirit about every gist that i have my dear i tried it one time i've not even gotten halfway to the gist it was just so boring and i'm like who am i talking to god self and i just stopped and i just went to go and gist my friends because those are the people that i will gist with and they will gist back with me and then i will hear them we will talk we will laugh and hold them but um, as time went on now now let's just talk about now i talked to the holy spirit like i've not gotten to that point so that I'm small as I've reached there. I've not got to that point where he's the first person I actually gist with when I enter my ear gist. But I have gotten to the point where I can talk to the Holy Spirit about things that I am feeling, about what I am going through, and then I will get a response and I will be fine. Do you understand? But it's not something that just happened one day. It's, I started it and it was boring, but I had to try to keep it up. Because I actually stopped at the point, but then I'm like, you will come back and you will hear that you should talk to the spirit. It was after I read this book, um, Good Morning Holy Spirit. Then I decided to intentionally walk towards talking to the Holy Spirit anytime I had to talk to him. Anytime I had something to say, I would always go to talk to him. But I'm saying I've not gotten to that point where I just just with him. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But what am I trying to say? Is that it's something you have to be really intentional about. Oh my god, that's tired really. It's something you have to be really intentional about. Something you have to really work towards. It's not something that will jump. And so, another thing I want to say is the fact that having a personal relationship with God does not negate the importance of spiritual guardians. I feel like I was talking to a friend yesterday about this topic that I wanted to do today, and then he was saying that I should really talk about this point because some people just feel like okay i have a personal relationship with god i'm growing my relationship with god and so i don't have to go for service i don't have to go for sunday service i don't have to go for weekly service i don't need it anything i need i do in my room but no both of i feel like both of them actually work hand in hand yes they actually work hand in hand when you, you should have a personal relationship with god it should not negate you going to service and relating with other spiritual people and going to church should not stop you from having a personal relationship with god because both of them are very and they are needed because even the bible says iron sharpened iron the bible says where two or three are gathered in my name i am there he is there he, you need apart from that you need them to grow you actually need people to grow you cannot just stay on your own you will grow but you will not grow as much as you will grow when they are people do you understand what i'm saying so please it doesn't make it so now moving on to the importance of having but i have to rush she's really moving on to the importance of having a personal relationship with god the first thing i want to say like what i said before we even started is the fact that i feel that there are different versions of christianity now there are just different things you hear about christianity every single day and so if you are not careful you would not know which one is the right thing like I gave examples, so all, all those, and the fact is that all these struggles, covering of air, this attachment, they are actually little, little things. But they are things that can push people away. They are things that can hinder people from knowing the right way. They, they are things that they are things that can hinder people from actually, actually even serving God because they are like this Christianity is serving too. Can you today you hear this tomorrow you hear this Sunday? But they are simple, simple things. They are little, little things. But if we are not careful, because we don't have a personal relationship with God, we will be easily moved. I don't know if you get me. I feel like I'm just moving here and there. But please pick out the point. You have, because even when you go to church and you listen to the word of God, you should still go back and talk to the talk to the Holy Spirit about it. I heard this today. I heard that today. Is it true? Is that how it is? You know how God speaks to you. It will speak to you. This, mm-mm, this, mm-mm. Do you get me? Another thing I would like to say is the fact that um, <laughs> let me calm down. Uh, okay, so the next thing I would like to say is the fact that having a personal relationship with God will actually help you to be more trusted by God. You know how they say God loves us all the same, but He doesn't trust us the same way. Because I feel like when you have a personal relationship with God, it means 
you always like when you have a personal relationship with God and you are growing regularly, it means when God tells you to do something, you are obedient and you do it. And then you, it's just someone you talk to anytime, it's someone that talks to you every time. Is able to tell you know how they say God tells he, he reveals his secret to people, so he's able to tell you things, he's able to trust you with things that okay, if I act if I send this person on an assignment, he or she will do it. So he trusts you more when you have a personal relationship with God because you have history together. Now we have to talk about is the fact that it will help you be on the same page with God. I would explain what I mean. So you know how you want to say something. But then, the Spirit just speaks to you and like, don't say it. Or you want to say something this way and the Spirit is like, say it that way. Or you want to go this way and the Holy Spirit is like, Mm-mm, go this way. Or, or as a teacher or someone that you are in the church, you, it helps you know that, okay, this is what God wants for the church right now. This is what God wants the church to hear right now. This is what God wants the people to hear at this point in time. So you're on the same page with God because you have a personal relationship with Him. You know what's what what is needed for this time. You know what is needed for this season. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't. I don't. Feel, I feel like there's actually. You know how they say there's always um, an advantage and a disadvantage of for everything. I feel like there's no disadvantage for having a personal relationship with God. I feel like it's just all advantages. You can correct me if I'm wrong, or you can tell me if you think there is a disadvantage in having a personal relationship with God. I would love to know what you feel. But I don't feel like there's any disadvantage in having a personal relationship with God. All you get are advantages and advantages alone. So I feel like uh, it's salva- it doesn't just end at salvation. You are saved. Now it is time to build a personal relationship with God. It's time to have an intimate relationship with God. Just the way you would have an intimate relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You are supposed to have an intimate relationship with God. He wants it. He wants to talk to you. He wants to be your friend. Do you understand? I know you do. So yeah guys, with that we have come to the end of today's video. And I hope you learned something. In fact, I know you learned something. Yes. So follow me on Instagram at ifeolua.oni underscore. I do a lot of nice things. I recently just started an Instagram story stuff. So and it's very it's going to be very sorry. So it's going to be really So I recently started an Instagram story stuff and I know you will really enjoy it. So please go follow me on Instagram. It's always here. Was it here? Somewhere. So please go follow me there and if you've not given this video a thumbs up please do and also leave a comment don't forget help me share with your friends too till next time guys see you later bye